I will steal your All right, this is TISA. Uh, we all know TISA. It's a wonderful organization. We have talked about it that organizes this event for students, uh, with, uh, especially with focus on uh, international students. So, today we have Let's Go Global. Let's go, <laughs> Let's go, boys. Cool. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, we have Shweta here from India. Uh, so. <laughs> so, hello, everyone. I'm Shweta. I'm from India. And so today we are going to talk about uh, India. And when we talk about India, you know, our tourism has given us a very beautiful thing called Incredible India. So let's see what India has in store for us. So today, first I'm going to talk about certain things. Like when I, I came here, I was asked a few questions that made me perplexed and was like, what? What are they saying? What is it they hear it from? So I'm going to talk about them and you know clarify some of the things or some of the conventions that you may have about India. So first is where we are in where we are in World Map. So we are here. And our map is, you know, really beautiful. It's, it, it's a diamond shape, so we can boast of that. And this is, that was our flag. I'm sorry I'm really bad with this touch screen. So now, the first question which I was asked was, uh, the capital of uh, India is New Delhi or Delhi? So what is the difference? So uh, when I say I come from Delhi, they say, OK, so that means you don't live in New Delhi. So what is the fuss about? Why do you say New Delhi versus Delhi? So I really want to say that when we when we represent Delhi in our map, it's like we are here. But <laughs> it's here, but so Delhi is basically a state and a union territory and it has eleven districts. It's, it's divided into districts and one of the districts is New Delhi. And New Delhi is the capital is, is the capital of Delhi as a state as well as the capital of India. So next time when a summons, uh, uh, someone says you that I'm from Delhi or New Delhi, it essentially means the same. It means a complete state. But just to name it as a difference, we call the capital of India as New Delhi. So the next thing is NAN. So the, uh, the, the most you know, interesting question that I was asked about is, Oh, so uh, when I say I'm from India, they say, okay, yeah, naan is, you know, really nice and really delicious. How do you make it? Can you cook it at home? Can you cook it for me? Can you invite me for dinner? And I always say that I'm with a sad face, sorry, I cannot cook naan at home. Because naan is, is cooked in a special device, which looks like, oh, <laughs> Which looks like this, and it's called tandoor. So in all the Indian restaurants here, they have this device called tandoor with them. So you you make the bread and you place it like this. And with, with the help of you know sticks, you you bake it, and that's why it has the flavor, which which essentially comes from uh, being baked in this special kind of device. And we, we don't have this device in, at home because it's pretty big and you have to put coal in it. There is no gas, the fire is in, in the form of coal. So you have to heat coal and then you have to uh, cook naan. So, uh, sorry about that, I cannot really cook naan at home, but I invited some of my friends. And and the one thing is that we don't eat naan at home every day. It's like, it's some special occasion, some festivals or, or weddings, then only we eat naan. But otherwise, we use or we every day in everyday life we use a, one another kind of bread which is like this and it's called roti, R O T I. It's called roti, and we cook it at home every day and it's it's really easy to make. We need this kind of device like there is a is a plate and there is a roller. It's same as the uh, you know spaghetti roller. And uh, so when I came here, I forgot this and I was like, oh, I forgot. Forget, forgot the roller, now what I'm going to do? So I went to 100 M store and I found a pretty, you know, good <laughs> spaghetti roller and it did my, it served my purpose. So you, yeah, you, you take bread and you roll it. And you know, this, this circle 
physical shape, you can you can master it. It's like when you when you will try it for the first time, you will make some of the some some geometric shape or some of the world maps. So when I tried, I don't know it was square or something. But after a practice, like I think I started making roti when uh, five years ago, and now I can make perfect uh, circle shape. So, but usually it's like this: we eat roti at home every day, and uh, but not naan. And the next thing is, so uh, naan I have seen in Indian restaurants here. Naan is really famous here. But there are other Indian cuisines also which are really interesting, but. I haven't found much restaurants here which serve those. But yeah, there are some of them which I've been able to identify. So one of them is like, like this. These are rice balls. So these are made of rice, fermented rice. So we, we use... Yeah. Dal also is there. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say that. We, we, make, we prepare the mixture using rice thing in this kind of... It's, it's really thin. The layer is very thin. Because as you see in Nan, the, the layer, it's, it's very, you know, it's very hard and it's, it's very, it has many layers. But this is really thin and it has stuffings in it. And then this kind of, this is very famous Indian snack. It's a road snack. You can easily find on road. It's called Pani Puri. So it's like this balls and they put some mixture in it and they serve it with, uh, with uh, you know, uh, water. And the water is mixed with some of the spices. And then this, this is upma. Also, again, this is made of some rice and some of the stuffed vegetables. And then this, I have kebabs. These are these are also really famous. These are, uh, you know, these are these are used and these are like instead of kebabs, instead of the chickens, we have another kind of thing like. Like tofu, we have tofu in Japan, so we have paneer in India, which is made from this. And this is dhokla, so this is also a very good, good snack. It's, it's made from uh, a fermented flavor basin, and also this is another part of bread, which is which I haven't seen here, but this bread is also, it makes it fluffy and puffy, and it's, it's used with chickpeas, it, it's served with chickpeas. And also then there is another kind of snack which you can find, uh, which is made from basin. It's another kind of flour and there are another uh, ingredients and mixtures in it. So uh, we don't only eat curry all the time, and then don't only eat <coughs> curry all the time. So we have uh, these kind of you know, small and you know, different snacks that we use in everyday life. And then the next question comes that, oh, Indian food is really, really spicy. How do you manage that? So I really want to break that convention, you know. When, when you hear about spices, it doesn't mean that every, and each and every of the spices is chili, right? Chili is one of the spices, but it doesn't include the entire, you know, the, the set that spices means chili. So uh, in India, as, as you know, in India, India has, I don't, I don't know the count, but there are a lot of spices, and all of them have their, you know, special and different medicinal values. So it doesn't mean that you just need, uh, you just add spice to your food just to make it, you know, uh, to make it more chilly. No, it's not that. There are different spices that have different and special meanings. For example, as you know, ginger. So uh, I, I, I don't know, but maybe some of you have tried ginger tea. So ginger in India is used uh, for, you know, treating cough and cold. So whenever we get cough and cold, we make ginger tea or we take ginger, we, we take hot water and we mix ginger in it, ginger powder in it, in it and we take it and it's, it's, it's a remedy for treating cough and cold. Similarly, uh, as you know, cinnamon and cardamom. Cardamom is used for bad breath. So I remember I, I had this problem some times ago and instead of taking any medicine from the doctor, I just tried you know, having cardamom once a day, so, and that really helps. After some time, the problem was gone. So, so my point is that of, of these, and one thing is turmeric. You know the curries are yellow in color. Why? Because we add turmeric in most of the curries. And turmeric is a very good spice, because turmeric is very good for digestion. If you have, and it's, it's very good for, for, for diabetic patients. 
and the medicinal value of turmeric is if you have a wound and if you don't have any antiseptic cream with you, you can directly apply turmeric powder on it and it will heal it. So my point is that not all that you say spices, not all of them means uh, yeah, it's it's very chilly or it's very tasty, but yeah, it's very how do you how do you manage that? We add different kind of things for different kind of purposes, but not all of them is is just chilly. So that's why they have uh, they have uh, you know identified it. The green the green are for ar aromatic. If you want to add some aroma to your dishes to your food, you use these type of spices. So there are a whole lot different type of uh, spices that you need to add. And and trust me, in my home, although Jap I find Japanese uh, curries a, a little bit sweet, a little bit of the sweeter side. But in my home, I also cannot eat chili. It's like I, here I try it and. When I, when I go to the restaurant and I tell them I'm an Indian, they put so much chili in my curry and I'm like, what is that? And they're like, no, 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 because Japanese curry is sweet, so that's why, you know, we are making it more Indian. And I tell them, no, 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 this is not Indian. Because in my home, I all, we also use that there's a minimal chili. And chili, do you know what is the medicinal value of chili? So chili, the antioxidants in chili is, is you, why, why do we use chili, you know, why, when it's, why do we use even in curry? It, it has to have something in it that, so for, for us to use that. So it, the antioxidant in chili is used to burn calories. And it's also, in some amount, it, it's, it's, it's good for, you know, your intestine. But if, if it is put in, it's, if it is put in a, in a moderate quantity, not in a, in a you know, large quantity. Each of them has its own value for, you know, specific taste and for specific medicinal effects. And the next is, so this is India, and I'm sure most of you know about the Taj Mahal in Agra. And, uh, but apart from Taj Mahal, there are other historical places which you can visit. Starting from uh, from the top, it's, it's there. We have, uh, you know, and yeah, so the, this reminds me of the question. Uh, I remember it uh, It snowed on 1st January 2015 and I was talking to someone in Rome and he asked me, oh, so this must be the first time you have seen snow, right? Because in India it didn't snow. I said, no, that, that's not true. Yeah, I, I came here in Delhi. It, it doesn't snow in Delhi. But yeah, it snows in Jammu and Kashmir, like the upper part and somewhere here. So there are different parts, you know, it's, it's so huge. So if you I happen to be there at some point of time and it's stone at that time. So in Rajasthan, Rajasthan is basically, is, is, a, is a, you know, we call it a tourism, tourist state because it attracts a lot of tourists around the world. There are, there are many attractions like Palace of Wind, it's called Hawa Mahal, and you know, uh, Pal Palace of Water, uh, one of the, statue or one of the palace is situated in water, it's immersed in water. So there are yeah, different things and when you go here or when you go down the south, there are very nice uh, you know, white beaches and there is one temple, it's uh, one of the, I think it's the richest temple in the world, it's called the Tirupati Temple. So there devotees, uh, you know, devotees offer gold to the uh, god. So. That temple has, I don't know, an enormous amount of gold with it. So, yeah, there, we, that is because of the religious uh, thing. And then, so there are different different uh, locations uh, across the world where you can go and, you know, visit that. So this was the Palace of Prince, and this is in Delhi, India Gate, and this is uh, Kutubminar, it's also in Delhi, so that these are the two And then, uh, we have luxury railways, luxury trains, so even if you want to go down the south and have a tour, this is the royal train. So it, it looks like this. The bedrooms are like this, and you have a living room like this. So they offer a seven-day tour across the country, so you can go and you know, just visit all the places. Yeah, they give, uh, yeah I found out for seven-day trip. This this is the uh, royal train, and it cost around uh, uh, two hundred thousand yen. For seven days. No, no. Yes. For seven day trip. For seven day trip. For a seven day trip, yeah. For one or two days, yeah, it's like seventy thousand yen. It starts from seventy thousand yen, but for a seven day trip, like if 
if you go down to slope <coughs> south, all the way then it's like we have to And then we in India there are a lot of festivals and because of that we have a lot of holidays around the air. And because there are so many people, we have uh, we have people from different cultures and religions, so there are lots of festivals and all of them celebrate in, in, in unity. So like this, this is a festival of colors. It's celebrated in Japan also. Luckily, I happened to you know, found that and I, I went there, it was great. And then there is uh, this festival, which is from Maharashtra. Uh, uh, it's the... <laughs> so, so these are uh, these are the different festivals. This is the Diwali, that is the festival of life. So we celebrate it and we get around four or five holidays, you know, and we always add it up with a uh, weekend to make it an uh, extended holiday and we go out somewhere. And then the next is Ayurveda treatment. You must have heard, may have heard about this. It's like, uh, it's about Ayurveda. So Ayurveda is used for medicine. They, they believe that, uh, uh, you know, instead of having medicine for special kind of disease, you always go for treatment, which includes some medicines and, you know, massages for, for healing some of the ailments. And then the famous Bollywood. Bollywood is the biggest film industry in the world. And yeah, we, in Bollywood movies, you see a lot of dance, which is a fusion of uh, Indian culture and folk dance. And so these are the different, uh, you know, movie, movie scenes, which involves Bollywood type of dancing. And last but not the least, some of my friends wanted me to show some of the Bollywood moves, so I have nothing to do. But I, I want someone with me to be here. Victor, where is Victor? Victor. He ran away. He, yeah, he ran he away. He dropped me in the... Then he ran away.
electric the wires applied in it so that we don't need to use common yeah, but it's very good. When's the best moment to go to India? Okay, it depends to which part of India do you want to go. Not a spot. Not a spot. You can go in Rajasthan uh, in June. the end of May or June. June yeah. Yeah. 45-50 But in Rajasthan, yeah, yeah it's, it's like the, the, uh, the Thar Desert, which is the, the desert of sand. It, it's good to go there in maybe September and October. Yeah. Or maybe in December. That's, yeah, in June, it's really the hottest. You will, I think you will see my Fermentation is quite good. Yeah, <coughs> coconut milk is widely used in everything. Do we have one last question? 